Cover and concealment. While it's a topic that you may have discussed in the past, we're going to share with you a few tips that could potentially save your life when it comes to cover and concealment. I'm Kip Tsort, and welcome to Escaping Violent Encounters. You and your partner have now arrived at the scene. Your partner steps out of the vehicle and the moment he does, bam, he's hitting the chest with a bullet and goes down to the ground. This is the opportunity where you should have prepared ahead of time looking for things that have to do with cover and concealment. In this type of situation, it's very difficult because so many peers, when questioned, initially want to run out and save and rescue and get to their partner. I understand that. I get that. The problem with this is if it's a sniper type situation, the sniper is wanting more bodies. While it's been rare to occur to EMS or fire or you know EMTs and paramedics it has still occurred and with that being the case we need to have cover and concealment as a part of our safety tactics that we use on every call all the time because we're shot at by surprise if we knew we were going to get shot at we wouldn't have went in there so some examples of cover would be things like the engine block the wheels if you are by a tanker truck, the, the area where the water is held, uh, concrete walls, block walls, uh, bricks, uh, a fire hydrant, even though you know the fire hydrant is not a great place, if you were between your vehicle and say a business or the structure or a residence, when the shots started coming at you, you can get most of your vital organs behind a fire hydrant, uh, a tree, a solid tree, regardless of its size, if it's big enough to slow or stop that bullet, I can even get my big belly skinny quick behind a tree if the bullets were flying in my direction. So concealment. Concealment simply hides you. It doesn't really offer any protection. Concealment may be shadows, bushes, uh, the door skin of your, of your unit, uh, the box of an ambulance is really concealment. There isn't any cover, no real protection. So uh, a trunk lid, a car door, those are examples just of concealment. So concealment hides you, cover protects you. You're already thinking of pre-arrival prompts before you ever get to any scene. Take just a few seconds of your time to provide for your safety should you be attacked by surprise. So as you arrive on every scene, your brain thinks, you know, where are good places of cover? Where are good places of concealment? It's a quick thought that enters into your brain and it's gone. However, if you get attacked by surprise, you will have something to revert back to. So if we have the fight, flight, or freeze, we don't want you freezing. We want you moving and getting to cover. You will formulate your plan from cover. So if your partner was down, somebody was down, you get to cover, formulate that plan from cover. So your partner's just been shot down on the ground. Now is not the time for you to hover over him. The time is for you to get to cover. You need to find cover and formulate a plan from a safe position. That's what the cover is going to do for you. While it's difficult and you want to get out there and help them, now's not the time. Something like preparation for cover and concealment for every call, every time might just save your life. I'm Kip Tsort and remember, your safety comes first. <laughs>